answer is we did not tap into the core beliefs because we did not have enough time to tap into the core beliefs. Usually if you look at the course of CBT therapy, the first three sessions are F, uh, the assessment phase. Four to twelve sessions is when you actually do the, the, the core work and then the, the, the relapse prevention system. The core belief work, uh, uh, tapping into the core beliefs starts in probably the second or the third session. Sometimes in the first session, but we did not even spend one hour here. Right? We spent only fifteen minutes. Good question. Any any other questions or comments? Uh, I, I want every postgraduates to either ask a question or a comment. We want it to be kind of interactive. Okay. Yes. What did you think about the interview? Yeah. Tell me. Yes, it is possible in my in our patient. It's not possible in my patient. It was. Yeah, 
part in uh, what the best part in what you are doing, sir. I feel that you are well connected to the patient in terms of his language, his in the accent. I think that made a lot of difference. So that's where I, I feel personally, you know, you want to practice CBT. It's all your language, your communication. It matters a lot more than what the subject you have and the techniques. So I think it served it wonderfully. I was expecting sir's accent to be much American accent, but because Pakka, uh, you know, Telangana accent, I think that's where it, 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 they got uh, well connected. Uh, so uh, people ask me as to how, how long I have been in the United States, and I, I that's when I say that's over 25 years, they and they ask me. You still didn't pick up U.S. accent. I said I won't. I would never pick up because my accent is kind of accent. Uh, that is a that is a good point in terms of being able to kind of connect with, with the individual. I think that's a very, very, very good point. But even where I won't have the same accent. I, so if the, the next patient is someone who is more fluent in, in Hindi and Urdu, I'm not that fluent. But you know what? I'm going to say. Listen, my Hindi is not great. Okay? You so we have to work together. Once I say that, what I do is that I connect with the individual. So there are always because none of us have the ability to go to the accent of all the people, right? Yeah. So something to kind of keep in mind. It all it takes is the mindset. Yeah. Because my job is when he started to when he ended, is he feeling more hopeful? Is he smiling and when he's leaving, is he more confident about something that we done? Yeah. You saw, it's the first time I'm saying, I have nothing, like, you no, know, and he's in front of the entire crowd, but still he was able to smile. It, how long did it take for him to smile? First minute or two? Okay, so don't believe when people say that it will take a couple of sessions for you to end. No! It takes a couple of sessions if you have not built those skills. Once you build those skills, guess what? It will just take you a, a minute or two, two minutes. Okay? So again, you you have to tune your your own mirror neural system. Um, okay. Anything else? Or can we go to the now? Oh, yes. Sir, I wanted to know, uh, these days in my office I am seeing the younger kids who meet the media for having exams in 10 or 15 days and they are coming with uh, loads of anxiety of how to deal with the exam and not able to do anything about it. They are actually paralyzed with the anxiety and fear. So in such kind of situations, how can I tackle as a, a trainee psychiatrist? In a brief set, like in a brief half an hour set. Okay, basically the, the main thing is that if, uh, they are uh, having anxiety because certain automatic thoughts that are generated. Yes. And once you identify the automatic thoughts and show them the connection between their automatic thoughts and the emotions and say, hey, if we help you learn different ways to identify and stop the automatic thoughts, what happens to the emotion? The emotion will go down. So let's work on this. That's where you will start. Okay? And then you give some assignment and say, do this, and you then come back the next time. Thank you, sir. Okay. Uh, yes. Oh, then, sir. Good morning, sir. Yes, sir. Sir, you've shown us that it can be done in 15 to 20 minutes, and evidently there was a difference in the patient. But uh, will this be sustained, and how often do we continue this? Okay. Excellent question. So, the, just what happened right now will not sustain unless there is a plan, right? So the plan is, okay, we are going to meet next week, okay? Actually, the plan is, when shall we meet, okay? Can we meet uh, next week or is it okay to meet in two weeks? What you are doing there is you are doing a collaborative planning with the patient. That's one of the principles of CBT. You are doing, instead of you telling what the patient has to do. And meanwhile, okay, if this, he says, no, no, sir, let's meet in one week, that's fine. Meanwhile, can you do this? Okay. 
and don't expect that everything is going to change, but we are working in that direction. Okay. Now, what, did you also notice one thing when I asked you, do you think these thoughts are pure or uh, uh, that only you have for everyone here? He says, I have these thoughts that other people don't. What did I do? I, I told, told him about the thoughts that everyone has. So what it does is that once the person knows, hey, this, I'm not a dharma. You're, you're taking away that, that distress out of the patient. Okay? These, are, these are very small things, but each of them makes a difference. Thank you, sir. Okay. So, yeah, we'll go to the next case. The next